When you make a manual payment using the Pay Early button, if the amount you enter is over the outstanding balance, this extra amount will become a credit for your account so you can use it for future payments. If you are planning to cancel a subscription within the same billing cycle in which you made the manual payment, you may still have the remaining credit. To check that out, you can go to the admin console at admin.google.com. Click the menu at the top left, then select Billing, and then go to Payment Accounts. Notice that more than one subscription may be associated with the account ID linked to the subscription you would like to cancel. Click on the account ID of the subscription you would like to cancel to check the balance. If you see there is a negative amount, this means you do have credit in your account. On the other hand, if there are more than one subscriptions associated with the account ID of the subscription you would like to cancel, consider keeping the credit for future payments. Before contacting support, it's important to know that depending on the amount of the refund, further documentation will be required. Also, you may want to wait until the next billing cycle to see how much credit remains in your account after your last charge. Additionally, the refund will be issued back to the form of payment used to add the funds. If you have credit on your account and there are no other subscriptions, you can contact the Google Workspace support team by going to the URL showing on the screen or clicking the link in the description of this video. For more help, check out the Request a Refund of Remaining Credit page in the Google Workspace Admin Help Center. You will also find this link in the description of this video.